Shalom, Shalom, Israel. <clears throat> Before I start this lesson, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash, and the brother Tazamak Moth, coming from the camp, Company of Prophets here in Tampa, Florida. I'm going to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach the truth and rule well. Peace and salutation to the whole flight that scattered abroad. Now we have a, you know, a big time headline. It says WEF, which stands for World Economic Forum. It says document confirms six billion humans will be deleted in 2025. OK, which we're months away from. All right. And the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, deemed this year to El Apostar the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. OK. So, hey, man, we see and the Lord is doing something very drastic, very something very extreme is about to happen. And you see the spirit is always um, has been going on for some time, hey, especially now, now, now that we're at the end, the MOTB or has been pushed and videos are coming out all about it. <clears throat> hey, the vision is being made is being made manifest to the world, man. All right, who the true prophets are, who's been teaching the truth, man. And um, and when that time comes, when this, you know, this mandatory RFID C hip comes to pass, you're gonna see the prophet has been among you. All right, the true prophet of Yahweh Bashem Yah Shai. All right, but you see what the least want to do. It says billions will be deleted in 2025, which we're months away. We in August, about to be in September. All right, so we got we got four months left. All right, about to be in September. So October, November, December, January is four months, man. All right, we in the end. We in the end half of this year. All right, election year. All right, which a in November, if there is an election. All right, they're going to deem their new president and get inaugurated in January. All right, but it says a WEF report hiding in plain sight confirms that upwards of 6 billion people will be deleted in 2025. And according to reports from Davos, Klaus Schwab has confirmed that this it says Klaus Schwab has confirmed the stated goal is on target to be achieved and Let's read on a little bit more. It says the global elite has been warning us about their plans to radically depopulate the earth by any means necessary. And now the results are playing out before our eyes. All right. And what's the main thing that you should think of? Is this a Georgia Guidestone, which they took down in I believe what? 2022, 2021. Something around that time, 2022, I, I believe so. But, hey, the first commandment and these elites commandments, right? Hey, because, look, they put the they put their commandments on on, on stone. Which that what does that remind you of how you how Bashimasha gave the law says your commandments on stone to Moses to give to Israel. OK, which just shows you that Esau Edom wants to be like God. OK, they sit up in the temple, of the most high thing in themselves that they are the most high. OK, and now they took this. Now they took this Georgia guy stone down. All right. They had an inside plan. They blew it up. They destroyed it. Now it's not there anymore. OK, but you could Google these things, man. OK, now the first commandment on there, it says maintaining humanity under 500 million. And perpetual balance with nature. Okay. So then and their main focus is deleting people off the earth. Okay. To maintain humanity under 500 million. Okay. And not a coincidence. Okay. Now they said they want to have 6 billion. Okay. Hey. The leads are moving, man. They showing you these things in, in your face. So let's grab some scriptures. Lord Wins Lessons Edifying.
This is uh, Psalm 64 and verse 8. <clears throat> now it says, So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. Okay? And guess what? They're talking. All right? They're talking. And they're making their own tongue fall upon themselves. They, they can't hide themselves no more. <laughs> Scripture say how Esau became bare. Let's get this. In the book of Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah 49 and 10. But it says, but I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places. Okay. And guess what? Esau is becoming bare now. All right. Hey, he's being exposed. All the things are coming out about him. And that's what it says in this article, which we're going to read. How you become uncovered. Hey, you... You're being exposed for everything. What hey, your Illuminati, your your secret schemes, it's all been it's all being coming out. It's all on the front line is being exposed. <laughs> and it says, and he shall not be able to hide himself. It says his seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Okay. Hey, look, man. So let's let's go back to this. Hey, so they're being uncovered now, man. The least are coming down with that great wrath. It says, um, it says, if we have any hope of stopping them from achieving their goal of murdering the vast majority of humanity and turning Earth into a prison planet to enslave the rest, the information in this report must be shared far and wide. <laughs> So, hey, let's grab this, you know, <laughs> you know, Esau's about to taste that wrath. Uh, where was I about to go? Oh, <laughs> this uh second Corinthians two and verse 11. And it says, let Satan should gain advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. Okay. We're not ignorant of you know Esau and his schemes and what he's trying to plan his enterprise is to do what's written on them on them stones man and ultimately is to see hip everybody on this earth all right to to conform to his enterprise to his society okay now um now it says World Economic Forum co-founder Carl Schwab was caught boasting in a loose lip moment with reporters, okay, which we brought out that, hey, the tongue shall fall upon themselves. All right, so they ended up telling on themselves, telling telling you their plans, their their um their schemes that they want to do. It says with reporters that Agenda 2030 is a red herring or ruse to throw normies off the scent. In reality, the situation is more urgent than that. 2025 is the year the elite are earmarking for massive worldwide population you know, decline. And according to Schwab, the goal of reducing the population by more than 6 billion is on track to be achieved. Um, it says, a BBC journalist... Let's see, it says, summoned to Davos earlier this month for the regular meeting where Carl Schwab briefs the mainstream media on which narratives to promote in order to advance the globalist agenda. <laughs> All right. Um, let's get some. Let's see. Now it says right here, Schwab has every reason to feel confident in the fulfillment of his evil plans. Okay, and how they... How are they mainly going to do that? All right. The Lord has given them, you know, plagues. Okay. The Lord is going to show plagues upon this earth. Okay. And and it's going by pestilence. All right. Now, right here, 2nd Ezra 15 and verse 5, it says, Behold, the saith Yahweh Shai, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword famine, death, and destruction. All right, it says, for wickedness have insanely polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. 
Let's get this pestilence. Mm. Let's get this. Because that's what the Lord is bringing. All right. He's bringing pestilence. All right. This is uh, 2 Ezra 15 and 49. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death. All right. So guess what? The Lord is going to bring mass pestilence upon the earth. And guess what? It's already happening. It's already starting. The Lord is moving fast, man. The Lord is moving fast. Hey, Lord said right here in Isaiah 66 and 15. Right here it says, For behold, Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So, hey, the Lord is going to destroy America by nukes, but also by the chariots, all right, to show his anger, his fury. They're going to be zapping people. But verse 16 says, For by fire and by his sword will Yahweh plead with all flesh, and the slain of Yahweh shall be many. The Lord is coming to destroy, man. All right. Vengeance is in my heart. Save Yahweh Shai. Okay, this is what the Lord is saying, man. So the Lord bringing pestilence, famine, death, destruction, widowhood, you know, uh, neighbor against neighbor. All these things. Hey, this is all part of, you know, a form of, you know, depopulation. Okay. And how are they going to, you know, maintain that trying to maintain that that commandment of 500 million okay is you know through the food through through diseases you know this is all prophecy man um it says he has recruited the majority of the cabinets in the governments of western nations um Let's see. It says the mainstream, the mainstream media, the education system and science have been compromised by the global elites. OK, it says the mainstream media. OK, so we got how hey, Esau is becoming bare. Let's get this. And then they're not able to hide themselves no more. This is Micah two and one. It says, woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. OK, these top elites, hey, they have the power, man. And they're devising iniquity. They're working evil. OK, and they want to they want to fulfill these things, man. They can't go to sleep until they fulfill these evil things, man. All right. These are the top elite bankers, man. They all all they want is their is their enterprise to be fulfilled. <laughs> all right, it says the mainstream media and education system and science have been compromised by the global elite, paid off by eugenist billionaires and megalomaniacs to become mouthpieces of the globalist agenda. Okay? So guess what? These top elite bankers, they're paying, you know, um, paid actors and stuff a to to come, you know, to uh, be mouthpieces of the elites. It says, as the next generation of leaders prepare to hammer the final nail in the coffin, it's time to make a stand before Schwab's sick vision comes to fruition. And it's not Schwab that wants that. It's the top elite bankers. Okay. All right, and let me show you some pictures. All right, it says, Deagle predicted that in 2020, the U.S. would see its population decline by 68.5%, all right, by 2025. Okay, that's a lot. That's more than half, okay? Okay, you see these things? <laughs> Now, let's jump to this. It says the Rockefeller Foundation was set up in 1913, just a few months after the Rockefeller family helped set up the F F Federal Reserve Banking System, 
which gave them unlimited funds while slowly crashing the U.S. economy and enslaving future rate future generations with debt. Okay, and we know how scripture talk about the clay. All right, when you go to uh, the book of Habakkuk. Uh, let's grab that real quick. Habakkuk 2 and 6, it says, Shall not all these take up a parable against him, and a taunting proverb against him, and say, Woe to him that increase of that which is not his. How long? And to him that leadeth himself with thick clay. Now, I'm going to show you what this word clay means in the blue letter, because it goes into something very key. Because uh, global elites, they're talking about how they crash the U.S. economy and keep the people in debt. Right now, when you go into this word clay, um, in Hebrew in H five six seven one, it says weight of pledges, heavy debts. So that the thick clay is heavy debt. America is built up off debt. All right. So it says enslaving future generations with debt. This is how the 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 top elite stay rich through debt. Okay. <laughs> It says crashing the U.S. economy and enslaving future generations with debt. All right. And this is how the elite stay rich. All right. And guess what? The, the U.S. is done. OK, it's done. All right. It says David Rockefeller admits he recruited Henry Kissinger. Carl Schwab admits he was recruited by Harry Kissinger by Henry Kissinger. It says Carl Schwab and W and World and the World Economic Forum are puppets of the Rockefeller dynasty. All right, this is a lot of information on here, man. Okay, a lot of information. All right, hey, <laughs> the elites they getting exposed, man. Let's get that. Um, it says by the mouth. Fire. Let's see. Uh, let's see mouth. I believe in uh, Thessalonians. Let's see, let me get that real quick. So this is Second Thessalonians two, and verse eight. It says, "And the wicked that it says, and then shall that wicked be revealed, right? The top elites, all right. Esau, Edom, the devil. It says, whom Yahweh shy." shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, the prophets, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Okay? When the Lord is coming in that great fathership and destroys Esau, Edom, man. Okay? Let's see if I can play this video. And you mentioned, uh, David, um, Henry Kissinger, and I think he first uh, was noticed by the Rockefeller family after he um, wrote a, um, a very erudite work on uh, nuclear weapons and nuclear war back in the late 1950s. Nuclear is, weapons and foreign policy. Right. Room, yes. and it was then published. And uh, from that time on, he became uh, pretty close to the Rockefeller family. Well, he did. Um, actually, I guess I was the first one who got to know him because uh, he was a member of an organization called the Council on Foreign Relations in... This is David Rockefeller right here. New York, and there was a, a study group at that time that he, as then a uh, young instructor at Harvard, uh, presided at. I was so impressed by him that uh, I introduced him to my brother Nelson, who was then governor in New York and was then considering uh, seeking the presidency of the United States. They became great friends, and actually, uh, Henry was, became Nelson's foreign policy advisor as long as he was in public life. And I think has, is one of the remarkable international statesmen in the world today. Even 30 years after he was Secretary of State, he is still asked by heads of state when he travels the world uh, for, their, for his advice. Let me go back to the time you said when you came here, it transformed your life. Was there a course, a professor, who really made that difference for you? Yes, uh, there was um, one course, one seminar 
of um, Henry Kissinger, um, which really opened my eyes. I wasn't accepted to the seminar, but I sat in. I think he let me in because I was German. And, uh, and it was relatively shortly after the war, there were not too many Germans here. And uh, this created a friendship which has um, uh, endured until today. And uh, you know, uh, Henry has been several times in, in Davos. Um, and I think it. You know, and you see, man, hey, these are all just puppets, man. All right. Let's see this. It says the Rockefeller Foundation founded Big P H A R M A outlawing natural med and wow. Read this, man. I'm not even gonna read this, but read this. Okay. Let's 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 get this. Job nine and twenty four, man. Okay. This is the this is the man that's ruling the earth. Job nine to twenty four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the face of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Who is he? Who's the man that's running the earth, man? Is these top elite bankers, the so called white man, woman, and child, man? It says the Rockefeller also created the UN. And they still have control over the NGOs doing the bidding of the globalist elite throughout the world, including the biggest and the baddest of them of all. The WEF and Davos fronted by a certain Carl Schwab. It says it so happens that Schwab was recruited by the globalists because caused by David Rockefeller himself. And then it says here is he talking about recruiting Kissinger who turned it. Who in turn recruited Schwab, which I just played a video. All right. You see, man, it's all an inside job. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Desire. Device. This is uh, Psalms 140 and verse 8. It says, Grant not, O Yahweh, desires of the wicked, further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. Okay, and this is King David, you know, praying to you. How about Shimei Al Shai, man? All right, don't let, don't let these wicked elite bankers, you know, further their wicked device, further their, you know, MOTB, you know, to to you know see up everybody. But we know that the scriptures say, once he fill his belly, the Lord is gonna cast fire upon his head, man. Okay, so. The Lord is going to let them feel like, you know, they got it all. They sit up in their pride, you know. That's how Yahweh Bashim al is going to be very dramatic, okay. He's going to let them get, feel like they got got the top, top you, top dub, you know. You know, they they see up the whole world, you know. They got the, the, the pop, you know, under 500 mil, you know. You know, <laughs> you know, the Lord, the Lord is very, uh, you know, very, very powerful, man, how he's doing these things. And now it's all being exposed. They they can't hide themselves. They're, they're done. All right. Let's get this. Revelation 12 and 12. It says, therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil. All right. Esau, Edom. Has come down onto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. All right, this devil has none but a short time, and that's why they're pushing their agenda so quickly. Okay, they don't got much time to do this. The Lord is making them do it, man. All right, this is Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the vices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Okay, and guess what? The Lord is. Hey, he's crashing all these things down. All these things are getting come to find out what they're trying to do. The top elite bankers, they control the whole earth, man. And guess what? The Lord is disappointing the vices of the crafty. They can't hide themselves. All right. How, how, how they used to. Now all these things are coming out. They can't they cannot perform their enterprise. They have to push quickly because now all these things are coming out. 
the MOTB, you know, and guess what? The prophets are the one exposing this devil, man. Starting from the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim Al Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Okay, it's, it's given to the prophets to expose them. When you go to Amos 3 and 7, it says, Surely the Lord Yahweh would do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And guess what? The, the Lord is giving us the secret doctrine. Let me see. <laughs> This is uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 2. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. Okay. And my speech shall distill as a dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb and as the showers upon the grass. Hey, guess what? Hey, what's the doctrine? Hey, this testimony of Yahweh Shai is a spirit of prophecy. This prophecy is dropping like the rain. <laughs> All these things are coming to pass, man. They, they coming out. Okay. There's, there's something I wanted to grab. Um. Yeah. You know, all these things are coming out now. Damn, Lord willing, the Lord put it back. I wanted to grab something. Um, mm, oh, Khan. The water y'all watching me on shy. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon, second chapter. All right. I'm not going to get the whole chapter, but I want to get this, some points in here. So this Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 4 it says, And our name shall be forgotten in time, and no man shall have our works in remembrance. And our life shall pass away as a trace of a cloud, and shall be dispersed as a mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun, and overcome with the heat thereof, the nukes. All right, these top elite bankers, right? It says the ungodly said, reasoning themselves but not all right our life is short and tedious all right because they've been loose a little season okay they only got a short time they don't have a long life because hey once you how about shimmy shut comes he's gonna destroy this man out of the power okay it says and in the death of a man there is no remedy neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave all right and guess what after them thousand years, hey, nobody's gonna know this man. <laughs> he's gonna, hey, he's gonna fly away as a dream, right? As as the dung, the scriptures say. Let's see if I grab that fly away dream. Job twenty and eight. He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yeah, he shall be chased away as a vision of a night. All right. As you as you don't remember a dream, that's how this. This is how this man's gonna go. Alright, and guess what? We living in the hell. This is nothing but a, a bad dream that Israel is living in. Alright, verse 5. For our time is, is very is a very shadow that passeth away. And after our our end, there is no returning. Alright, because they're never gonna be back in power. Okay, it says, For it is fast sealed that so that no man cometh again. Come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present. Let us speedily use the creatures like as in youth. Okay? So, A. Hey, Esau Edom, he's enjoying his time now. These top elite bankers. But they know, hey, their, their time is running out. Okay? All these things are being come up. A. Hey, and you, when you read this chapter, it's about, hey, these top elite bankers. All right? How, how they, how they uh, converse upon themselves. The Spirit of the Lord has revealed it to us, man. Hey, they use the creatures like as in the youth. They got puppets. They got all these niggas, you know, these ninjas working for these these puppets, man, working for the top elite bankers, man. They said they'll oppress the poor righteous man, us, man. Okay. And guess what? They waiting for the Lord to see what he's going to do for the elect. And guess what? The Lord is going to, is going to, Defend his elect and show you his power, man. All right, but they, you see what's going on in this article. You see all this information coming out. Hey, Esau is being exposed for who he is, man. He can't hide himself no more. All right, so with that, Lord, when is that? I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh.
Bahashim Yawashah, Bahashim Kakudash. Lord willing, this has been edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom.